your Windows PC has a secret toolbox of hacker level commands built right inside. Commands that can reveal hidden Wi Fi passwords, wipe data so it can never be recovered, boost performance, and even expose unsigned drivers that could put your system at risk. These aren't third party tricks. These are official Windows commands that most users never discover. Today, I will show you how to unlock 9 hacker level commands that will make you a master of your Windows PC. Now, I know memorizing these commands and typing them out one by one can be a headache. That's why I built something special for you. The ultimate Windows master toolbox. A simple interactive menu that puts all these powerful commands at your fingertips. No more typing. Just choose the option you need and Windows does the rest. For example, watch this. I will choose the option to reveal saved Wi-Fi password. Instantly, it scans every profile on this PC and shows the stored keys. That's the power of this toolbox, taking commands that feel hidden and making them easy, clear and accessible. I'll walk you through each command inside the toolbox, breaking them down, showing you what they do and explaining why mastering these tools can make you the boss of your own PC. Let's dive in. Press Windows plus R to open the run dialog box. Type CMD in the run box and press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter to open command prompt as administrator. The first command is for security check to find unsigned drivers. The signature verification tool scans your system's drivers and checks whether they are digitally signed by Microsoft. A digitally signed driver means Microsoft has verified its authenticity and that it hasn't been tampered with. Unsigned drivers, on the other hand, could be outdated, unstable, or even malicious. Type S-I-G-V-E-R-I-F. Running this command opens the file signature verification tool, which scans for unsigned drivers. This won't uninstall them, but it gives you a clear report so you can update, replace, or remove risky drivers. Unsigned drivers can be a backdoor for rootkits or malware. This tool helps identify them so you can research or remove them. Now that you know how to spot unsafe drivers, let's go deeper and list all drivers in detail. Our second command lists all installed drivers with details. Type driver query, which is the main command that lists all installed device drivers on Windows. It provides information about driver models currently loaded in the system. The verbose parameter displays detailed information about each driver. FO table organizes the output in a clean tabular format. The information provided is very good for troubleshooting drivers since it quickly displays which drivers are installed and running. You can also check for outdated or unsigned drivers from the output. The link date helps spot old drivers that may cause instability. Security analysts use this information to see abnormal or hidden drivers in the system. Now we have mastered drivers. What about Wi-Fi passwords saved on your system? Let's pull those out next. Our third command reveals saved Wi-Fi passwords. Type Nesh, which is the network shell, a powerful Windows tool that lets you manage every aspect of networking. LAN tells Nesh to focus on wireless LAN settings. Show profiles displays every Wi-Fi profile saved on your computer. This command doesn't just show your current Wi-Fi. It lists every network you have ever connected to. Each entry contains the network name and behind it, Windows has saved configuration details, including the password. To review its stored password, type nesh lan show profile name and replace home network with the name of the network. Key clear is the magic switch. It tells Windows to decrypt and display the stored Wi-Fi password in plain text. When you scroll through the output, search for key content. That's where the saved password appears. Together, these commands give you a full map of all Wi-Fi networks your computer remembers and lets you instantly retrieve their passwords. But what about user privileges? Let's see the hidden powers your user account has. Type who am I? This command literally means who am I? On its own, it shows the name of the user account currently logged into the system. The privilege switch expands the outputs to include all the privileges assigned to your account. 
When you run it, you'll see a detailed list with three important columns. The privilege name will display things like the security privilege, which manages auditing and security log, take ownership privilege, which provides ownership of files or other objects, and backup privilege, which backup files and directories. In the description section, it explains what each privilege allows. The state indicates whether that privilege is currently enabled or disabled. Privileges are the hidden power behind user accounts. An account might not be administrator in name, but with certain privileges enabled, it can still perform high-level actions. Professionals use this command to quickly check if an account has dangerous privileges like debug privilege, which attackers often exploit to escalate control. Now that you know what powers your user account has, let's talk about protecting sensitive data even after deletion. Our fit hacker-level command securely wipes free space. Space. Most users think hitting delete or even emptying the recycle bin is permanent, but auditors know those files still exist in free space and can be recovered. To ensure sensitive files you have deleted, like documents, personal data, or work files, cannot be recovered, type sci fi, which is a Windows built in tool for managing file and folder encryption. W stands for wipe. It tells Windows not to encrypt anything, but instead to override all free space on the specified drive or folder path. Replace drive with a drive letter of the location you want to wipe free space or It is important for you to know that this command does not delete your existing files. It only scraps the free space where deleted files used to be, so they can't be recovered with forensic tools. From wiping files, let's move to backing up and mirroring entire directories with a pool level copy tool. So for our set hacker level command, it mirrors entire directories reliably. Type RoboCopy, which stands for Robust Copy. SRC is the source directory, which is the folder you want to copy from. Navigate to the location of the folder you want to copy. Hold down shift, right click it and select copy as path. From there, paste it in the command. Dest is the destination directory, which is the folder you want to copy to. Once again, navigate to the location where you want to mirror the files to. Hold down shift, right click it and select copy as path. From there, paste it in the command. The E parameter copies all subdirectories, including empty ones. The mirror mirrors the source to the destination, which means that the destination will exactly match the source. This command is very useful for backup jobs, synchronizing drives, or preparing a mirrored environment. It goes a long way to preserve structure, which keeps the same folder hierarchy and even empty directories. After mirroring files, sometimes you just want to visualize your folder structure instantly. For our seventh hacker level command, it displays folder structure in a graphical format. Type tree. This command displays the directory structure of a drive or folder in a tree like graphical layout. F switch tells the tree to include the names of all files within each folder, not just the folders themselves. From there, navigate to the location of the file or folder you want to retrieve the information from. Hold down shift, right click, and select copy as path, and paste it in the command. Instead of clicking through folder after folder, you instantly visualize the entire structure. This will offer complete transparency. You will see everything, be it files, subfolders, and how they are organized. This command is also used to audit or document directory layout quickly, especially when dealing with messy drives or unknown systems. But what if you want to hide certain files from prying eyes? That's where the attributes come in. For our it hacker level command, it hides file or folders from the file explorer. Type attrib, which is a short form for attribute. This command lets you view or change file or folder attributes. Class H sets the hidden attributes. This makes the file invisible in File Explorer. Plus S sets the system attributes. This tells Windows the file is a system file. Replace file with a targeted file or folder path you want to apply the attributes to. Simply navigate to the file or folder. Hold down shift, right click, and select copy as path. From there, paste the path into the command. On execution, the command will quickly hide sensitive files without deleting or encrypting them. And on checking the folder, the file or folder will be invisible. To revert or remove those attributes and make the folder or file visible again, you would have to use this command. Type attribute minus H removes the hidden attributes. Minus S removes the system attributes and replace file with the path to the file or folder. 
Now your file or folder will be visible again. Finally, let's wrap up with a command that reveals everything about your system. Our ninth command shows detailed system configurations. Type system info, which is a built-in Windows command line tool that queries and displays detailed information about the computer's hardware and software configuration. This command is useful for checking system specs before buying or selling a PC. It also helps you confirm if your hardware or software meets the requirements for upgrades. And most importantly, it will display the hotfixes installed, which is the security patches already applied. Now that you have seen how powerful the Ultimate Master Toolbox really is, which is a single toolkit that puts all the essential Windows hacks right at your fingertips. No complicated steps, no memorizing commands required.